Hello everybody, it's Explore Vegas, and today we're at the Bellagio Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas. We're hitting you up with another buffet review. The buffet at the Bellagio is one of only three buffets on the Las Vegas Strip that serves dinner. They do so Friday through Sunday from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. Both the Bacchanal Buffet at Caesars Palace and the Buffet at the Wynn are the most popular because they offer a nice variety of seafood. Prior to the pandemic, the Buffet at the Bellagio was known for its premium offerings. Today's review was filmed on a Saturday evening the day before Mother's Day. Was it worth it? Do they still have any premium offerings? You'll just have to keep watching to find out. Sit back, relax, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and let us show you all the dishes this amazing buffet has to offer. First up, the Fresh Market Greens. Here's the romaine lettuce, mixed greens, here's fresh pico de gallo, shaved red onions, crumbled blue cheese, cherry tomatoes, mozzarella cheese, there's some corn, cheddar, chickpeas, hard-boiled eggs, olives, red peppers, carrots, shredded carrots, raisins, croutons, some sunflower seeds, and the dressings. I see some Italian, balsamic, blue cheese, Caesar, Thousand Island, and ranch. Now let's take a look at the rotisserie and carving station. Here's charred jalapenos and cranberry sauce. There's soy lemongrass chicken. Dark meat turkey and turkey breast. There's some turkey gravy. Barbecue sauce. There's a bacon slab. Pork ribs. Pulled pork. And a jus. Check out this beautiful beef steamship. They also have brisket, beef ribs, some lamb chops and prime rib. They also had chimichurri sauce, creamy horseradish and horseradish. Here's brown gravy and au jus, mushrooms, rice, some broccolini and mashed potatoes. Here's some braised short ribs. Check out these beauties. Here's mac and cheese. Now let's check out the taco station. You can choose between al pastor, carne asada, and chicken. Then choose between onions and cilantro. They have limes. Some sour cream, salsa roja, and salsa verde. Here's corn elote. Now let's take a look at the hot stone pizza and flatbread station. Here's some parmesan cheese and chili flakes. Here's Pizza Bianco, Margarita Pizza, some Vegetable Pizza, oh that one's not as popular, and Pepperoni Pizza. Come on, you're really going to eat pizza at the buffet? Here's Capers, Gherkins and smoked salmon. Here's some grapes. Salami. Some cheddar. Mortadella. And brie. Some salami. A strawberry flower snuck in there. The server was being funny so I filmed it. It's actually a really nice charcuterie board. Here's some blue cheese crumbles, some lavish, 
And here's what many of you have been waiting for, the seafood. Here they have snow crab legs. We're going to talk a little bit about the crab legs later in Final Thoughts. But here they are for now, snow crab. They pre-plate them for you so you can just grab as many plates as you like. Here's steamed rice. Some soy sauce. Bok choy. Some shrimp hargau. Some pork and shrimp shumai. Here's vegetable spring rolls. Mongolian beef. Some lo mein. Some chili wings. And fried rice. Here's sea bass. And seared salmon. Here's broccolini, cauliflower au gratin, some caramelized carrots, green beans, and mashed potatoes. Kind of an odd place for it, but here is the drawn butter for the crab legs. Some pasta with marinara sauce. Tortellini with pesto. Shrimp scampi. Here's some oysters Rockefeller. Here's a nice seafood boil. Here's fish and chips, plated in their own individual baskets. Here's a look at the ramen station. Yep, you heard me, ramen. Let's check out the menu. Choose from tonkatsu, dashi broth, pork belly, tofu, green onion, bean sprouts, bamboo shoots, crunchy garlic, kimchi, and chili sauce. Not listed on the menu is some jalapenos, hard-boiled eggs, and mushrooms. Now let's take a look at the fresh seafood market. First up, fresh oysters on the half shell. Take a look at these beauties. So plentiful. I just kind of want to grab nine right now. Here's seaweed salad, some mignonette sauce, and tartar sauce. They also have some horseradish. Here's a deli seafood salad that has shrimp squid and scallops and here is the creamy seafood salad version same thing with the seafood here's some lemons peeled shrimp cocktail nobody makes me peel my own shrimp some cocktail sauce and black mussels. There's still more seafood to come. 
Here's some caprese salad. Here's fava bean salad. Check out this enormous sushi boat. Here they have California rolls, salmon rolls, tuna rolls, and cucumber rolls. Here's some plated tuna poke. And here's salmon poke. They have a sushi hand roll station. Let's check out the menu. I see fish eggs, imitation crab meat, some carrots, spicy tuna, avocado, cucumber, salmon, some shiso leaves, some cream cheese, regular tuna. Here's ginger. And wasabi. Don't forget the soy sauce. Now let's check out the soup station. First up, tomato bisque. Next, some assorted dinner rolls and breads. Donate the bread. Next up, a New England clam chowder. Pocket a few packs of crackers, why don't you? There's some butter chips. Some pears. Bananas. Oranges. And apples in the back. Oop, more butter. Here's miso soup. And here's drawn butter for the crab legs. Kind of a strange place for it though. Now let's have a look at the desserts. First up, one of my favorites, creme brulee. Here's dark chocolate rice crispy treats, some assorted danishes, some strawberry donuts, chocolate donuts. and jelly donuts. Here's espresso para creme, strawberry panna cotta, chocolate molten cake, Grab some cake pops, why don't you? They have pistachio, vanilla, and even a red velvet. They have some beautiful assorted macarons. I see some chocolate, what looks like pistachio, raspberry. Maybe a mocha and a vanilla. Or that could be birthday cake, actually. It's not labeled. Here's carrot cake. T 
tiramisu. Some chocolate cupcakes. Here's cheesecake. Here's one of my favorites, the Oreo cheesecake. Yum yum. Check out the key lime pies. And how about those pecan pies? The made-to-order crepes are quite exquisite. You can top them with all kinds of fruit. They have blueberries, strawberries, bananas, even raspberries. Looks like some cherry compote, blackberries. While you're waiting in line, just think about what you want and when it's your turn, tell her what to put on there and voila, you have yourself a beautiful crepe. They even have chocolate sauce and some caramel sauce as well. Don't forget to ask for some whipped cream too. Now let's look at the gelato station. Choose from chocolate, raspberry, strawberry, mango, lemon, vanilla, or mint chip. Top your gelato with some Oreo cookie crumbles, granola, marshmallows, or sliced almonds. Don't forget chocolate sauce or caramel. There's a bowl of Jolly Ranchers. They also have Skittles, gummy bears, little M&Ms. The beverage stations here are self-serve. They have the choose your own flavor Coke machine. Also available are coffee, tea, and juices. They also have a full-size bar here. Alcoholic drinks are not included, but they do have a pour package that's $24.99. All right, let's see what they have to eat. Crab legs. Can you throw some more on there? Oh, you can grab another plate. Can I just combine it? Yep. All right. Some crab legs. First thing I go to. I'm gonna hit up the oysters on the half shell. Seafood salad, calamari rings, we have shrimp in there, this one is another one, this one looks like it has scallops in it, let's try this one with the scallops, we we'll need a few pieces of scallop in there if I can. Also have shrimp cocktail peel and they have mussels. Sorry about that. Mm -hmm. 
get a few muscles. Oysters. Caprice salad. Let's see. Uh, check out that sushi boat. Let's get a couple of pieces on this plate right here. That looks good. Oh, they have tuna as well. We get a couple of tunas. You can only come back for some of the poke and make hand rolls as well. Alright, not too bad for first round here. We are here at the Buffet of the Bellagio. It is Mother's Day and like they do on many holidays, they include crab legs. Yup, you guessed it, here they are. They actually pre-plate them for you so that you don't have everybody just kind of hanging out there, grabbing and grabbing and grabbing, and then you can never get through. I like that. Nothing like steamed crab legs. Make sure I get that little bit out of there. Pre-crack them for you. It's a little helpful. There we go. Look at that beauty right there. Absolutely love crab meat. Mm. Mm -mm. Always have an amazing time eating crab meat. How could you not? Check out these mussels. They were plentiful as well. Fresh and delicious. These were steamed just like the crab legs. It's good that they have some warm seafood, not just all chilled. So this is warm. Mm. Absolutely delicious. I'm gonna try some of the tuna poke. That's chilled, of course. <laughs> I would hope it is, unless they're searing it. Mm. A little bit of sesame and green onion on there. Mmm. Delicious. Mm. A little hint of spice in there. Not bad. They have some chilled seafood here. They had a couple of different kinds of seafood salads. Some of them have scallops, some of them don't. Of course, they have oysters on the half shell. Fresh and chilling on the ice back there. Mm. Delicious, delicious. So this first seafood salad here, this is like a deli seafood salad, that's what they call it. There's some scallops, big peeled shrimp, and a little bit of scallions and some sauce in there. I think it's like a little dill sauce, honestly. That's what it was, dill sauce, but it's fresh and tasty. Absolutely love it. They had another one with some calamari scallop and shrimp all together. Look, I got a trio on the fork here. How about that? This one was a little creamy, but not bad. Of course, they have some fresh sushi as well. I got tuna rolls and salmon rolls. I'm gonna wait to get some chopsticks before I try that one out, so I'll come back to you. Sea bass and salmon. And the sea bass here is one of the better ones. It is real sea bass, it's not swai fish. Piece of salmon as well. Get some tuna poke. The carving station is pretty popular. So we're gonna try and get there. Uh, let's see, what do you have? Lamb chops, we have prime rib here, beef ribs, brisket and roast beef. Okay. Brisket and roast beef. I'll get uh, lamb chop prime rib. How's that look, sir? You want to put on a That looks beautiful, thank you. Appreciate it. I can help you, sir. 
Got a meat plate with some seafood and some tuna poke. Pretty good setup. Let's go eat. They have a few of my favorites here. One thing that the Bellagio Buffet has that none of the other ones have is the sea bass. I absolutely love it. They have salmon too, but the sea bass here is always just so tender, soft, and smooth. It just, it tastes delicious. I feel like they cook it like nobody else. I love it here. It's so good. Oh, that is just dynamite. It's so good. Wow. Mm. I can't get enough of that one, but I'll try the rest off camera. Here is a little bit of the salmon. There's like a little tomato sauce based on there. That one is outstanding. Same thing, just kind of soft and feels like it just melts in your mouth. It's so good. They have a nice carving station that they do up for the holidays. It has roast beef, they have some poultry there, there's like chicken and turkey, but they also have prime rib, one of my favorites. And in addition to that, lamb chops. I'm gonna get into the prime rib right now. Ooh. This is a pretty rare piece, but you know what? I haven't got any problems with that. Cut it and then cut it. Very tender and soft, got a little piece of fat going on there with the meat. Let's give it a shot. Mm. Wow, so very good. Ooh, a little seasoning on there too. Tastes just right. Take a look at how tender and juicy that looks. Ooh. Wow, that's just on point. Let's get into the lamb chops. Kind of see there's a little garlic seasoning on there. But man, it looks tender as well. Oh, look at that. How tender that is when I cut into it. Ooh. This is gonna be exciting to taste. Wow, so soft. Moist, tender. That garlic seasoning is not overwhelming. Just a little hint of it, which adds some nice flavor. Wow. The carving station, out of this world. Perfect. Spice tomato, video sauce. Oh, that's perfect. Boy, this hand roll was exactly what I wanted and it was fresh and absolutely delicious. They have some pretty nice desserts offered on the dinner buffet. That Oreo cheesecake is one of my favorites. I always like macarons, cake pops. I always grab some creme brulee when they offer it at a buffet. They had some other decent desserts as well. Final thoughts are coming up next. Some final thoughts on the Buffet at Bellagio Saturday Night Buffet. This particular Saturday night they were serving crab leg because it was Mother's Day weekend. The price was $79.99 but it would normally be $66.99. In addition to the crab legs, the only other item we saw that isn't typically served was the lamb chops. So that's what the additional $13 gets you. I asked someone in management if there was any way the Bellagio Buffet would begin serving crab legs on a regular basis. They said not at this time, but they're still looking at the possibility in the future. If they would serve crab legs for dinner, the price would likely be higher. During the holidays last year, they actually served king crab legs and charged $79.99 per person. I do enjoy the food though. I think they offer some nice seafood including oysters Rockefeller, oysters on the half shell, shrimp cocktail, sushi, poke, salmon, and sea bass. The carving station is decent and always has prime rib on it. There are a few nice Asian and Italian dishes as well. The desserts are above average. The crepe station looked delightful. The only thing I'm having a hard time with is knowing that if the Bellagio Buffet does offer crab legs, they will likely be charging the same price the Bacchanal Buffet charges, and I do not feel both buffets are of equal value. I do feel the Bellagio will need to offer more than just crab legs to justify the potential $80 price tag. I did find the food fresh and tasty. I guess I just missed the old version of the Bellagio Buffet.
As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and drop us a comment below. The more you do that, the more YouTube will show our videos to new viewers. And remember, it's always a good day to explore Vegas.